in this hammer tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make like a keypad or combination lock to open doors and other stuff like that. This tutorial should work for most Source Engine games. I'm using Portal 2 though to demonstrate this, as uh, I mostly make Portal 2 maps. You should be able to download the VMF I use to demonstrate the tutorial uh, in the description of this video. As you can see here in this unfinished uh, map of mine, I have a six digit combination lock using these little signage overlays here as well as these buttons that correspond to each sign. You'll want to add more of these if you want to make your lock more secure, and you shouldn't be able to brute force your lock, so minimum is probably three or four will work for this tutorial. Let me run the map to, to show you how I made this and how this works. I'm going to go ahead and skip to later parts in the level. So I skipped to later in the map, and this is where the uh, this is where the door and the combination lock is. Let me pick up my portal gun. You see here, you will need to press the six buttons in the correct order for this door to open. Uh, and when you get the, uh, the, you need to press six in a row. And when you do the wrong combination, it um, it uh, does this. See, when I pressed the wrong combination, it made that little arrow, so uh, arrow sound, and it should have reset the combination lock so that you can try again. So, uh, let me try doing the correct one. See, uh, uh, a little uh, correct sound played. I still need to implement the door opening, but you get the picture. The correct sound played, and I've done the lock correctly, and I I pressed all the buttons. Here's my map I designed for this tutorial. Uh, I wouldn't recommend this tutorial for people who are just starting Hammer or people who are kind of beginners. You'll need to know quite a lot about the math and the logic behind Hammer, and you'll. I, I recommend that you at least get to know the basics before you watch this tutorial. For this, uh, for the purpose of the tutorial, I'll, I'll be just creating a small four-digit lock instead of the big six one you saw on my map. Uh, I'll start off by making four buttons. I'll align them and stuff. Let me just do that first. I used shift drag to uh, replicate the buttons. Now, uh, what you want to do next is you'll want to have the four signage things um, so that you can know which button is which. Okay, so all of these buttons are aligned, and they're all in the correct place. Now, what you'll need to do next is create a logic relay, a logic relay. And basically what that does is it, it allows you to um, input into the logic relay and kind of have it do more outputs. If I mean, I'm sure you know what it does. All right, now we want to decide what order our combination lock will go in. I'll say it'll go 3, 4, 1, 2. Should be easy enough. So, three, four, one, two. So for the first one, three, we'll start off by uh, naming the logic relay. We'll, we'll name it relay three. Actually, we'll, we'll name it to relay one because it's the first one. Uh, and we'll start uh, start disabled to no. Uh, and we'll want to unpressed relay one trigger. Okay, and what this relay will do is it will activate the next line in the combination, which means um, I'll have, so this this relay will be activated. This will be called, oops, relay 2. So we have relay 1 and relay 2 here for the first and second number in the combination. Um, on the trigger of this relay, on trigger, relay two, enable, and on this relay we'll go ahead and dis well, it's, it'll, it'll start disabled. So yes, it'll start disabled. So basically, um, we'll we'll copy this over as well. Okay, so now basically what this does is when you press this button, it will activate the ability to press this button and have it send out outputs with the logic relay. Okay, and we have this. Okay, we want relay 2 to trigger here. Unpressed relay 2, trigger. So once this relay is triggerable, we will go ahead and, uh, and send it to the next one. So this one will be called relay 3, 
and uh, I'll go ahead and trigger this one on this button. Relay 3. Uh, enable, and it'll start disabled, of course. Yes. Okay, and we'll set we'll set two to uh, once it triggers, on trigger relay three, will enable. So you press the first button to activate the second, and you press the second button to activate the third, and you press the third button to activate. You guessed it, the fourth. So this will be the fourth button. We'll go ahead and make this relay four. We'll add the, the output from the button on pressed relay four trigger. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and we'll have uh, we'll have this relay also on trigger relay four enable. And we want to make sure that every relay except for the first relay, which is uh, button three in my case, starts disabled. So that only the first one is enabled when you run the map. So we have our final relay um, decided. So what we want to do with this relay next uh, is it, we actually want, we want to add math counters. So basically just type in math counter into this little box here. Should be able to pull it up. Here we go. And we'll place each, we'll place a math counter for each relay. So this will be the first one. We'll name it math one and it, and uh, and the, in the this will be relay one and math one basically relay one will add we, we want the max on this to be maximum legal value set that to one and basically we want the relay on trigger to um, to add one uh, to it so it hits the max I'll go ahead and delete these just so we can see. So on the on the relay trigger, when this button is pressed, it will add one to this math counter here. I actually made a mistake. See, you will you don't want the you don't want the relay to to um you don't want the relay to trigger the other relay. You actually want the the math counter to trigger the other relay. So I'll go ahead and delete that from the relay's output. Oh, good, that one doesn't have one. So basically now, we have this mat, we have the button that goes up to the logic relay, and when the relay is triggered, it will add one to this math counter. And that's how, the, the, just make sure your whole first button is set up exactly like this. Button to relay to math counter and make sure the max on math counter is one All right. so what we want for this is when the math counter hits max which is one it will activate the next relay which is relay two uh, enable okay so you uh... with the next one it'll be exactly the same pretty much it'll just be a copy paste over so i'll go ahead and copy this for all of them uh, keep in mind, it won't just be a copy-paste. We'll have to change the numbers, too. So change this to math2. We'll make a math2 up here. It'll just be another copy-paste here. So math1 activates this relay, which adds, which uh, allows the button to, add, to trigger the relay and add 1 to this math2 here. I'll set this to relay3. Okay, this should all be working for this button. Now we're gonna go. We're gonna go ahead and do the next one. So relay three is activated here. This is uh, button one, relay three. So we're gonna uh, copy paste the math counter again. Make it math three. Um, and the logic relay will uh, will add one to the to the math counter. On trigger math three add one. There we go. And then 
uh, maximum legal values one on hitmax relay four enable. And we're basically going to do the exact same thing for the next one. I'll speed it up though so you don't have to see me go through it again. Okay, so before we continue any further, make sure you understand all of this. The first, uh, the first digit you want to activate in the combination lock will trigger a relay, um, which will add one to a math counter uh, that'll, uh, that'll enable the next relay. You understand it. So make sure you get all of this before we continue. The next step, basically, is to make the final relay, uh, uh, relay 4. We, uh, we want the math counter to open the store when it hits max, basically. So, when this hits max, we want it to open the door and play a little completion sound. So on hit max, relay, uh, I haven't named the door yet, so let's go ahead and name the door. Here we go. Just name it door. Okay, we're going to set it on hit max, door. We want it to open. This is uh, actually, it's a very simple kind of door. It's just uh, it's just an example, uh, prop test chamber door. You don't have to use prop test chamber door. It's just, um, it was just easiest to put into the map. So you might think, we're done, right? You just type in the combination and it's done. Well, no. Because if you just continue pressing all of them, eventually you'll just, you can just keep pressing more until you get it. But when we press four in a row and it's not the correct ones, we want it to reset the, we want it to reset this. And that's what I'm going to do next. First though, let me just do a simple little ambient generic to, to show you that the door uh, has opened to show you that you are correct. We'll just name this door open. Let me find a quick sound name. Uh, button, oh, I already have this in here. Positive. That works. What else works? This. This is the same one I used in the other map. So, here we go. Door open. And we'll make sure on this last mouth counter, uh, mouth counter, I'm seeing mouth counter, uh, well, we'll do door open. We want to play sound. And make sure none of the outputs on any of these say only once. Just do it exactly how I did it. We do uh, only once, no. Uh, and no delay. Now what we need to do is we need to add the function that kind of, uh, uh, that makes you fail the, the lock combination if you press four in a row that aren't the correct ones. So what we want to do is we'll, uh, we'll make a math counter. Math counter. Here we go. We'll name it, heck, we'll name it, We'll name it math5, just for the purpose of this. Uh, and start to say, well, no, maximum legal value will be the amount of combinations, oops, sorry about that, will be the amount of combinations that you have in your lock here. Maximum legal value will be four, because we have four combinations. Uh, and we'll also want to make another sound here that shows you are wrong with your combination. Sound wrong. Sound wrong, we'll call it that. Sound name. Let's try something. Um, pa negative. This will work. This is uh, that's actually what we uh, what I used in mine. Play everywhere. Sure. Start silent. No, no, no. All right. So we'll have it called sound wrong. On hit max, just for the purpose of you don't have to have a sound necessarily, but it really. It really does help with telling the player that they got the combination wrong, and if they got it right, you know. So it really, it's it's really useful. So on hit max, sound wrong, play sound. Now we get into the part where you actually uh, have to have to um, like reset everything when it gets wrong. So basically, on hit max. Uh, oh oh yeah, uh, on hit max. Uh, you'll want. Uh, all of the relays that aren't the first one to disable again. Oh, and we'll put a little bit of a de uh, delay on this. You'll see why later. Just delay 0 0.10. Anyways, uh, on hitmax, put every relay except for the first one on disable when this hits max. Uh, you'll see why I do this in a bit. It's uh, it's really just so... Uh, it will, you know, the first one like activates them all. This, when you get it wrong, deactivates them all. When it hits max, it also does it when the when the when it's correct. But you know, resets is the picture. This resets all of them. 
You also want to reset the, uh, let me think. You also want to reset the, the math counters that are here. So math 1 through 4, you want to set the value. You want to set the value back to 0. And you'll just copy paste this for all of them, probably. So let me just do that real quick. Math 2. Math 3. Math 4. And you'll also want to do 5. You also want to reset this one's math so that it resets completely. Alright, so this is pretty much almost completely it. But the last step is that when uh, you, you want every logic relay when activated, or actually not every logic relay, you want every button. So make sure this is on the button. Every button you want to uh, on press math 5 add 1. Do this on every button. It's so it adds up to the, uh, it's so it adds up to 4. And once we do this, I'm pretty sure the button combination should be completed. This was super painful. It took a while to do the first time. But uh, now that I've figured it out, I feel like I should be able to tell you in a tutorial. So let's test this, see if I've done everything right. This is a leak-free map, so that won't be a problem. Let's see if I've done everything right. Uh, what should turn out is it will uh, it'll make a lock very similar to the one that I created in... Uh, oh, 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 yeah, well, one more thing. Uh, on the final math counter... We don't want the uh, the bad the the kill sound to play, or we don't want the the sound to play that um that means you got it wrong. So on the final one, just do uh, sound wrong kill. That's why you want the sound to uh, to be delayed on this one. You want it to uh, delay a little bit, just a little bit, just so that you can um you know just so that it doesn't play, and you can you have time for it to the the other out, uh, output to kill it. Alright, time to run the map to see if it works. Should compile very fast because this is a small map. Okay, here we are. As you can see, all we see is the uh, four buttons and the four signages here. We don't want that portal to be there. Just move it out of the way. Um, so. The correct combination is 3, 4, 1, 2. Let's try doing an incorrect one. Let's try 2, 4, 2, 3. Oh, that was wrong. Oh, I'm supposed to be on Do Not Disturb on Discord. Don't mind that. Uh, so that was wrong. Let's try 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, that was wrong too. Uh, what's the correct combination? I'm trying to remember. It's 3, 4, one, two. Excuse me. Well, it looks like I've done something wrong. Let's go back and look at the math. Uh, this actually happened quite a bit uh, when I was testing. Anyways, uh, on hit max door door open sound wrong kill. We want the sound wrong to kill. We're gonna make sure the door opens. So what's going wrong with this? Let me figure it out. And just like that, I've figured it out. The problem here is that instead of this button triggering the relay, it's actually enabling it, and that's not correct. I should not have put that. So with that fix, let's see if the map works. This is the uh, exact same kind of problem I had when I was troubleshooting my first version of this combination lock thing. And, you know, hammer's hard. I don't... If you mess something up, it's not your fault. It's just the fault of hard... Well, it is your fault. But it's just a hard program to use, and you really got to you really got to learn it well. So let's try an incorrect combination. That's wrong. Let's try the correct combination. Last but not least, let's see if the correct combination works. Three, four, one, two. Oh wow! Would you look at that? Our combination lock uh, works. Uh, this uh, it works. There you go. That is the tutorial, and I will probably be putting this map in the description. As said, I'll be putting this VMF in the description. If you loved this tutorial, I would uh, I would uh, love for you to suggest more tutorials I could do in the comments section. Like and subscribe to the channel, and have a good day.